welcome to this seven day to headstand practice. Whether you are able to get into a headstand or not, this practice is for you because if you are not able to get your headstand, this class and also the schedule in the description down below is going to help you to get it or maybe even master it. So as you can guess, this, going to, this is going to be a headstand flow. And if you are ready, we can get it started. But before starting to move our bodies, as always, I want you to sit on your mat, find a comfortable position and close your eyes. It doesn't matter how you sit, but make sure that you feel comfortable and you feel at peace somehow. And start bringing the focus of your attention right into this present moment. Start by noticing the sounds that surround you. Instead of thinking them as distractions, think them as signals that are bringing you right in the, into this present moment since they are happening right here, right now. Start feeling your body. Spot all the places that your body touches to your mat. Start feeling the air that touches to your skin. Whatever is happening around you. Be aware of them. And then slowly draw your attention inward. Notice your breath. Observe how you are breathing today. Witness the body movements that are happening thanks to your breath. While you are inhaling, it's like you are losing weight somehow. You are feeling lighter. And while you are exhaling, you feel more grounded. You feel heavier on your mat. And now, Let's take a deep inhale together through the nostrils and exhale it out through your mouth loudly. And then blink open your eyes. Whatever happens or doesn't happen throughout this practice, decide right now to embrace whatever comes into your way, okay? And decide right here, right now to enjoy this practice for the sake of the joy, not for the results. And you'll see when you enjoy the process, the results come easier. So yeah, let's have fun and move mindfully and consciously. It sounds nice, right? I know. So, let's find our plank position first. Your wrists are underneath your shoulder tips. Your toes are tucked. Your feet are at hip distance apart. You are pressing through your finger knuckles while gripping through your fingertips. So your hands are like spiders, kind of. 
You are firming your forearms in, which means that you are wrapping your triceps backward. You are really pushing your palms towards your mat and trying to fill the gap in between your shoulder blades. You are drawing up your lower belly. Nice and squeezing that butt. Stay active in your glutes. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and now bring your forearms on your mat and make your transition into your forearm plank. If you need to adjust your feet, feel free to do that. Still at hip distance apart. And this time you are really pressing your forearms on the mat, still drawing up the lower belly and squeezing that butt. Now, simply rock your body forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. Nice. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to the center, your butt is not too high or too low, but try to stay with your body like you are a line from the top of your head towards your heels. Last deep inhale here, with exhalation, lower your hip, bo hip bones to your mat, untuck your toes, press through the top of your feet so your knees should be lifted up okay your legs are active you are squeezing your butt your shoulder tips are drawing away from your ear it's like you are reaching your chest forward while pulling the shoulder tips away from the ears, but still pressing through your forearms and your palms. Nice. Now inhale here. With exhalation, into your forearm plank on the top of your feet. Inhale again, cobra. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forearm plank. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Last seven. Inhale. Exhale. Last six. Exhale. Last five. Exhale. Last four. Exhale, squeeze the butt. Last three. Last two. Last one, inhale. With exhalation, again, you are on your forearm plank. Squeeze the butt, draw up your lower belly. We are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hip bones and draw your shoulder tips away from your ears and get into your cobra once again. Close your eyes here. Press through the top of your feet, squeeze the butt, open your chest. Let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Closing the eyes, being fully here, fully present in the practice. Let's take a last deep inhale here. And exhale. And now open your eyes once again. 
Now again, inhale here with exhalation. Let's meet in the forearm plank, but this time tuck your toes and get into your forearm plank. Now we are going to do this. You can watch the first one if you like, or you can join in. But I will suggest you to watch during your forearm plank. Don't drop your hip down, your butt down, okay? Nice. So inhale here with exhalation. Start walking with your feet towards your chest. And while you are doing this, slowly the gaze comes towards your feet. You can place your hands however you enjoy doing forearm stand sorry, headstand, bring your feet, close, 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 and simply this, and then again, inhale here, exhale, walk, backward, slowly, with control, while you go back, again, your head is lifting up, and you are getting into your forearm plank, so you can unite your hands, in the middle because from here from like we'll do this exercise a couple of times and then we'll go into our headstand so I like to hold my hands like this however you enjoy holding your hands during the headstand place it like that in your forearm and now inhale with exhalation walk with your feet towards your chest while bringing the head to the mat, the gaze is towards your feet, come closer as you can with your toes, hold, inhale, exhale slowly, walk back, 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 and get into your forearm plank. One more time, inhale here. With exhalation, start walking with your feet towards your chest. Bring the top of your feet, top of your head, sorry, to the mat. Come closer with your toes as much as you can to your chest. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, go back. Do this slow. Feel your abdominals and then slowly find your forearm plank. Inhale here, exhale, drop your hip bones, untuck your toes and take your rest here. Nice job. Now we'll go in to the headstand, but we're not going to jump into the headstand, but We'll try to do as controlled as we can, as slow as we can. So do your best and of course you can do this um, against, against, yeah, against the wall so you can feel safer however you like to practice. Okay, so the rest is enough. Enough. So let's do the same thing. Try not to jump and try not to rush the process. The important thing is to really get what you are doing. Really understand, not particularly with your mind, what, but feeling the sensation of what you are doing. That's why doing it slow, doing it with control takes time but you will improve actually faster and stronger because you'll know what you are doing. Again, I'm not mentioning moving with mind, but moving, I don't know, deeper in, in some deep level. And I call it sensation. You collect those sensations, you put them into your pocket, and then you know what to do because you feel it. So you're not thinking it, but you're feeling it. Hopefully this makes sense. And I think this rest is enough right now.
nice so let's find our forearm plank once again not tidying my hair up was not good for this practice okay so anyways find your forearm plank here again however you prefer to place your hands during a headstand do that i prefer like this and find your forearm plank first of all feel strong and steady in your forearm plank squeeze your butt nice now inhale with exhalation start walking with your feet towards your chest your head is going to find its place just trust your body trust your alignment that comes with it and now lift right leg up bend your leg you can simply hold here or you can reach your right leg even further and you'll see your left foot is going to lift up in its own way you don't want to sorry you don't need to do anything any tap any jump just trust your body trust the process and then slowly first bring your left foot down and right foot down inhale here exhale let's go back into our forearm plank <laughs> <laughs> to fix my hair I almost lost my forearm plank anyways so this time with the other leg find your forearm plank and let's go inhale here with exhalation walk with your feet walk 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 come closer as you can your hip bones are almost over your shoulder tips so if you can get them over your shoulder tips it's perfect and then this time lift your left leg up bend your knee and then send your leg and let your right foot to float and lift up as well hold it here or wherever you can hold and then slowly bring your right foot first to your mat and then left inhale here exhale let's go back into our forearm plank nice inhale exhale lower your hip bones to your mat and take some rest i don't know how that went for you but however it went embrace it and know that this takes time this takes practice but as much as you can be present in your practice you're going to improve that awareness you are going to improve that conscious doing throughout the practice and this is what makes a real difference so try to build that mind-body connection by acknowledging what is happening and what you are doing okay nice so let's try again this time we'll try to do straight leg headstand we can do it okay trust your body trust yourself trust the process and enjoy so let's find our forearm plank once again okay nice inhale here with exhalation you know what to do walk with your feet nice this time try to bend one knee at a time maybe bring both knees in front of your chest and from here try to extend your legs and try to hold it here squeeze your butt hug your ribs in nice hold it here let's say 
for 10, 9, 8, 7. If you can't hold, try to get in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly, as controlled as you can, bring your feet and then make your transition back into your forearm plank inhale exhale lower the hip bones down untuck your toes bring your palms in line with your elbows find your cobra and close your eyes let's stay here for a few seconds maintain your eyes closed and start bringing your focus on your body once again make sure that you are pressing the tops of your feet on your mat your knees are up your legs are active. You are squeezing your butt. Navel in. Shoulder tips are drawing away from the ears. The neck is long. You are pulling your chest forward by pressing your forearms, your palms on your mat. Your face is relaxed. Now inhale, maintain your eyes closed, still they are closed, and extend your arms. Push your palms on your mat, deepen your back bend here. Feel the stretching sensation on the front line of the body starting from your toes towards the top of your head really draw your shoulder tips away from your ears feel your back muscles last deep inhale here with exhalation, lower your elbows to your mat once again. And now you can blink open your eyes. Inhale with exhalation. Send your butt towards your heels to find your child pose. We're not going to hold here. Inhale, lift your chest up. Bring your hands behind your back, cross your fingers and shoulder tips are rotating externally. Open your chest, pull your chin towards your neck, really push your chest forward here. Try to draw up your lower belly, but Pull your shoulder tips using your hands here. Feel your heart, your chest is expanding with every inhale that you take. Last deep inhale with exhalation. Let go of your hands. Reach with your fingertips forward curve your spine the gaze is towards your navel and then you knot your hands in front of your chest close your eyes thank yourself for simply showing up for taking this time and thank your body for whatever it could do whatever it couldn't do be grateful for it and if you 
need to hear something today anything that you want to hear maybe you are waiting for someone else to tell you do not wait that someone else and be the one who tells that thing or things to you and when you feel ready once again blink open your eyes Hopefully you enjoy this little practice here. You make me so happy by joining me on the mat. I really want you to know this. And if you are down for a seven day headstand challenge, don't forget to get your schedule in the description down below. I love preparing schedules for you. You don't have to stick to them like perfectly i know that is hard but try it play with it take time and explore i don't know whatever you enjoy i'm sending you lots of love light and of course meet you. check the mic and make sure it sound right boys